Rolf Harris's final taste of freedom. He can be seen here leaving his Berkshire home and taking to the Thames to get to court. The man who spent six decades performing for the cameras was today going to extremes to avoid them. Back on land, he was accompanied by his daughter and niece and his bodyguards. Why won't you apologise, Mr Harris? But his wife, Alwyn, at his side for much of this trial, was nowhere to be seen. In the years he was entertaining the nation, Rolf Harris was also fooling it. Earlier this week, he was found guilty of 12 counts of indecent assault. One victim was seven years old. Today, the court heard extracts from victim impact statements. The abused former friend of his daughter said, the attacks that have happened have made me feel dirty, grubby and disgusting. The whole sordid saga has traumatized me. Another said Harris treated me like a toy. A different victim said, I carried what Rolf Harris did to me for most of my life. It took away my childhood. Sentencing Harris, Mr Justice Sweeney told him he took advantage of the trust placed in him because of his celebrity status. He told him, you have shown no remorse at all for your crimes. Your reputation now lies in ruins. You have no one to blame but yourself. Rolf Harris took off his glasses and was taken down to the cells. Even while the trial was going on, new potential victims have been coming forward with allegations of abuse in Britain and Australia. Oh. Among them, Louise Anton, who claims Harris groped her at a function six years ago. Today she watched as he was jailed for over five years, but she's told Five News she's not entirely satisfied. I just sort of thought about it as five years and nine months, as not a long time for the, you know, assault that, that he's made on these, um, these women that were young children at the time. You know, he, he won't have any career, he won't be able to ever do this again to anybody, and he's been completely outed. Harris's daughter Bindi, getting into the car here, left court not long after her father was sentenced. She'd said in evidence it was difficult being the daughter of a star. How must it feel then to be the daughter of a prolific paedophile? Then a tarnished national treasure started his journey to prison. Rolf Harris, the artist of his own spectacular downfall.